Hello everybody, Frankie here from Vibrant Center for Voice and Movement. And today we're going to continue in the resonator warm-up that I'm taking you through step by step. So by now you've already done the double bass and the cello. And so today we're going to add the third. There are five in the sequence, so we're in the halfway point. I'm joined here by Bowie, who's my teaching assistant, and I'm going to try to not stand on him, you know, though he's decided to tuck himself away right behind my feet. Before we begin, let's get your body activated and get your nervous system in the mode to learn something new and to be a little bit more aware. You might be coming from your day job, your angel investor job, and it's time to do a little bit of work with your practice. So to start off with, I want you to take your feet approximately hip distance apart and just let your weight drop down through your feet into the floor. Have the knees bent a little bit and in fact you can even really bend them and see how low you can go before the heels want to come up off the ground and then bring them back up and just keep them unlocked. Keep your glutes relaxed and just use your skeleton to hold you up. Feel that spine nice and long and tall. Let that jaw go as if there was a cloud in your mouth. Space between the molars. And really make sure that you can feel the heaviness of your arms. And if it helps, lift them up and then let them drop. And do that a few times as you think about your jaw. And uh, bring your fingers together and overhead and stretch to one side. Feel that nice stretch along your rib cage as we're going to be focusing in that area soon. Breathe into those ribs and then stretch to the other side. Think how long you can be on this opposite side of your body. And then push those fingers out to the front and round your back, stretching the back ribs open. And then bring your hands together and open up the chest. And this variation might be available to you to bring the hands into prayer, the back of your body, opening those elbows away from each other. If this isn't available, you just go here. Nice. And now bring your fingers to your neck and just gently stroke the neck. Let that jaw be heavy. <sighs> Cloud in the mouth. And bring your fingers to your larynx. I'm gonna come in close. Bring your fingers here to the larynx and give that larynx a gentle wiggle side to side. And it's okay if you crackle a little that's just some tension being released, especially if this isn't an area that gets a lot of focus. And then I want you to find your hyoid bone. And your hyoid bone is a U-shaped bone that sits um, above the larynx under your chin. So if you just feel around, there's the top of my larynx and there's my hyoid and i'm going to give that a little gentle wiggle side to side none of this should hurt but it might feel weird and it might crackle a little bit 
Just be gentle. <sighs> Lovely. And then letting that go. Drop your chin to your chest. Bring one ear to a shoulder. Same ear to shoulder. It'd be pretty fancy if you could do the opposite. And then drop your chin to the center again. Breathe. And then drawing the other ear to the same shoulder, same side. So on me, this is my left, and I think for you, it looks like my right. And then do that one more time. Chin woo, to the chest, drawing the right ear to the right shoulder for me. And then one more time, drawing the left ear to the left shoulder. Chin to the center, breathe. And take a fist under your forehead and use that fist to raise your head up. And then look side to side. I take a pause here. I need a yawn. And then take a big breath in and exhale and sound and give a gentle shake. And just jump up and down a little bit if that's available to you. And just let your arms go. And then let that go. Beautiful. So now that we're a little bit warmed up, ready to work, I want you to bring your awareness now to your sternum which is where the uh, ribs in your body come together. So you might feel a sheet of bone there, there. And it's okay to poke around and kind of get to know this landmark for yourself and then even be able to move out apart from it and feel where your ribs begin. This is your body and being able to feel things like your ribs, the spaces between your ribs, your sternum, your xiphoid process, that's the little pointy part here, and then being able to oh, feel your own rib cage as it branches out. It kind of goes down on me as it moves away. It's useful to think of this as the tuxedo cutaway. And then it's just for fun, let your fingers kind of rove all over your rib cage. Oh, just feeling that for yourself. And your ribs go really high up too. Oh, nice. Woo I know I'm ready to work. And then I'm nice and regulated when I start to yawn. So now I want you to just gently tap your chest right here at the sternum. I had a yoga teacher and she would say, thump your thymus. <sighs> and I don't know about the science of this, but her claim was that this is also very helpful for the um, immune system. <sighs> and then just explore, what does this do to your sound? If you just allow some gentle fluffy sound to come out while you're doing this. You can hear it in my voice already. Uh, not pushing, not trying to do a Tarzan, just a soft sound. Uh, lovely. And then perhaps place a hand, ooh, there we go. Place a hand on that sternum. Can you he feel it? Can you feel it vibrating? Ah, beautiful. So that's our viola. And I'm going to get you to echo after me. Viola, your turn. And we're going to play our violas, so thinking about the vibration here. And it's okay if you don't feel vibration. This may be uh, the first time you've ever thought about it. So I want you to visualize vibration coming from this part of your chest. And it might even help to think about your 
um, shoulder blades moving down your back a little bit. So we're going to do this and do a little shimmy for the fun of it. Yeah, so, viola. Viola, 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 viola. And this might be a tricky place. This might feel like the place where your voice cracks, which is totally fine. And I've done some videos about straw work and working with the, with the crack. Don't worry about it right now. But if an image works, I want you to think about um, turning. I sort of imagine like a gold coin turning in my throat as I do this. Viola, 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 viola. Your turn. Viola. Beautiful. And the phrasing that I use here is I want you to imagine that you have a light shining out of your sternum and you can pick whatever color you would like your light. And you're just gonna shine that light out of your chest. I love everybody and everybody loves me. One more time. I love everybody and everybody loves me. Lovely. And it can be a really beautiful part of your practice with your voice to place your hand on certain parts of your body where you'd like to feel vibration and think of sending your voice there. So for that, you can send your voice here. Maybe you want to send your voice here, which is where we explore the cello. And maybe you want to feel your voice here in the back of your pelvis. And just think about different places where you might like to feel your voice as you finish up and you embody this and take this and run with it. In the meantime, don't forget your double bass, your cello, and your viola. And then we're going to add the next two over the next two weeks. <sighs> So enjoy exploring speaking from there, enjoy feeling vibration from there, and enjoy um, exploring percentages. What is it like to speak with a 10% of viola or an 80% of viola? And what kind of characters or motions or nuances seem to come from the awareness of speaking from that place? <sighs> so take care of yourselves. Take care of each other, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.